Hey guys, it's Nicole. I'm back. Woo! So excited. Okay, so I'm back from vacation. I'm so exhausted. I can barely even function. It is almost 12:30 in the afternoon and I'm just having my first cup of coffee because I did not have any creamer, if you could believe it. And I kind of had a meltdown and I almost just went for black coffee because I needed it so bad but I couldn't do it so thankfully my husband's home and went and got some creamer so I am oh wow thongs on the back we're all adults here <laughs> this is from one of my beauty supply catalogs so it has stuff for <laughs> uh, waxing on the back apparently here Anybody else thinking of the thong song right now? Thong, ta thong, thong, thong. Okay, I'm, you guys, this is gonna be weird because one, I haven't recorded in a week. Two, I'm delirious and I am so exhausted. So I apologize right now for the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Actually, sorry, not sorry. It's just kinda how I am. Okay, and now I'm getting, I like this, the cringe album getting glue everywhere. It's like I've never done this before or something. What is going on? Oh my gosh. This is not starting out good. Okay. Okay. Did I cut this crooked? Do over. There we go. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Okay. There we go. And there's all kinds of chunk in here. Oh boy. We don't like chunky projects. Not that there's anything wrong with being chunky. That's not what I'm saying. I just don't like my glue pages to be have little glue chunks underneath them. I have to give them a little lipo. Okay. There we go. You guys, I cannot tell you how much I've missed gluing in my book. So here's the thing. I get there to the beach for my son's birthday week extravaganza, a little back history. Um, my dad has advanced stage terminal cancer, so we've all been very good about... Sorry, I need a sip of coffee. Anybody have an ID, IV drip for that? Asking for a friend. Um, so we've all been very careful about... COVID, making sure that we don't get anything so we can see my dad. So my, I have one sister, she is married with a three-year-old and my mom, my dad, and then there's my husband and my two kids. And we have all not been together in, I don't know, four months. I haven't given my mom a hug or my dad in over four months so this was the first time that we've all been together um, in a very long time so that was really really nice and you guys we had such a good time and I did try to record a video right when I got there because we had some downtime before my sister my two sons and my mom and I all drove together and then my sister and her husband and son were coming just a little bit later that day so I had a few minutes so I thought I'd just record a video while everybody was kind of just chilling and hanging out. So I did. I recorded a video. Uh, but then it wouldn't load. And so that was kind of a bummer. I don't know what was going on there. So I tried six times to get it to load and it would not. Should I just cut her head off? Oh, that sounded very Hannibal Lecter-ish. I didn't mean it like that, but I'm going to cut some of the bottom off of this. So yeah, I, it just wasn't working. So then I decided, you know what? I feel like that's a sign. Um, that's just kind of how I roll. I felt like things happen. Of course I cut it too short. Oh my gosh, why? <sighs> Anyways, we can fill that up. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm cranky because I'm tired. So Anyways, like I said, it just wasn't working, so I figured it was a sign that I just need to put my phone away and put my stuff away. And you guys, I didn't craft. That's a lie. There was one day, everybody was kind of doing their own thing, so 
I was making some stuff that I want to send in, some Happy Meals. Um, I sat at the table while my dad, he actually had to work while he was there. Um, he's a very important man. I'm not even joking. Um, so he had to work a little bit while he was there, so that was kind of nice. My dad was just working at the dining room table, and I was just crafting and kind of sitting in peace and quiet and just doing our own thing. And my older son, he's in a program for um, cybersecurity, so he was just kind of came and sat at the table and was doing some work. So it was really nice. So that was the only time I gave myself to really do that. Um, but you guys, I am so sore, it's not even funny. Like, I can barely walk. Like, if you watched me walk right now, you would probably laugh. And that's okay, because I would laugh too. It's really bad. So, we went down. The weather was awesome. You guys, we spent so much time outside. My boys and my nephew played outdoor games and frisbee and uh, baseball and... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, cornhole. And then we all were just kind of like hanging outside. And my dad and mom have an elderly dog, 16. Little tiny thing, a little rescue that they've had for 10 years. And then their other dog that they had for 10 years passed away. And my dad really had a hard time with that and wanted another companion so they have a puppy right now who's now six months old and this was her first time socializing with other dogs and people because we've all been in COVID she hasn't had the chance to really do that so that was actually a really great opportunity for her and she did fabulous oh she's so cute and she has so much love and she likes to cuddle with you and she's not a big dog but she's not tiny either and she thinks she's a little lap dog and it's hilarious she just like folds up into your lap and I, I was living for it let me tell you it was amazing I loved every moment of that that's for sure so we did we just kind of there's a big yard and we barbecued and hung out outside and played with bubbles and everybody was just it was craziness because we're all there's only 10 of us there. Wait, three. My sister has three. My parents are two. We had four. So there's nine. Sorry. Nine of us. And it was just, you know, and five dogs. So it was, it was a bit of craziness in the house. But that's how we like it. But boy, it was fun. So what else? Okay, so um, I live in Oregon, and we went to the Oregon coast to my brother-in-law's family beach house. That's our favorite place to go. It's on the beach. It's been in their family for years, many, many. Um, and there uh, in Gearheart, Warrington area, Seaside, is a herd of elk, a very large herd of elk that has been there for many, 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 many years. They, I think they call them the Gearheart Herd, but they just kind of wander the whole area and go in your yard and sleep in the uh, school grass. And I mean, they just take over the whole city. Well, both cities, all three cities, really. So they just kind of wander around in this great big herd. So they always come in our backyard. Um, and it's so cool to see. So we saw them, of course. Uh, last time I was there, actually, I didn't see them at all, so they must not, because, you know, they kind of do this big loop, and they just keep walking around this big, huge loop. So I didn't get to see them last time, which was weird. I think that's the only time I've ever not seen them, um, but it was really cute to see them. We all look for, my nephew, of course, he's, like, freaking out because he loves to see them, and we're so lucky that they're just, like, right there up close and personal to where we can just sit and drink our coffee and watch them and oh man to see the little babies are so cute oh and of course because they don't move very fast they're in a herd if you if they're outside your door they're going to be out there most of the day if not the next day and actually for the first time ever they slept right in our backyard i have never seen that before and so we got to see them for two days because they woke up then obviously still in our backyard um, which is 
huge and right on the beach. So they were very spread out, you know, for like yards and yards and yards. So anyways, that was cool. Let's see, what else did we do? So we weren't able to obviously go into town and do all the fun beachy things there, which was gr good because we got to spend more quality time together. Um, so we hung out outside a lot, playing games. We went to the beach, which was, oh my gosh, so nice to put your feet in the water. Uh, one day the water was actually warm. It like blew our minds because on the Oregon coast, our water doesn't get warm. It's usually pretty chilly. That doesn't stop everybody from going in it, but it's, it's cold. It's not like Maui or something, you know? So it was actually warm, like bath water warm. And we were freaking out. We're like, that is so cool. Uh, then the next day we went and it wasn't anymore. Um, but there was some, uh, like, you know how the sand makes little sandbars and pools of water. And then, yeah, so there was that. And inside these little pools of water were little shrimp eating little, I don't know, what do you call those? Little tiny, they look like little tiny tadpoles, but they're not, they're fish. They were, um. I don't know. Anyways, that was my first time ever seeing that on the Oregon coast. And I've been to the coast many times in my life. So that was really cool to see those little shrimps eating fish in little pools of water. Hopefully the water got high enough to bring them back into the ocean after a while and didn't just dry up. But so then of course my cute little nephew wants to chase me around on the beach, so I'm running, which I have not done that in a hot minute. Um, even my mom was like, wow, I haven't seen you run that fast in a long time. I'm like, yeah, well, I didn't want sand all over my clothes with his wet, sandy hands, so that was a little bit of encouragement to get my butt in gear. Um, so anyways, he was chasing me and stuff, so I was running, and of course, that was not a good idea. I have fibromyalgia um, pretty badly, and... I was very sore, but it was worth it, 100%. I did hurt my knee. I'm not sure if I tore something or what was going on there, but um, yesterday was a really hard day. I explained it to my mom. She's like, well, what, what's going on? And I said, well, I'll be fine one minute, and I'm walking, and then all of a sudden, the front of my knee feels like I'm giving birth out my kneecap. <laughs> She's like, what? I said, well, my knee just gives, and then the front of my knee feels like I'm giving birth. That's how bad it hurts. And she's like... <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's how I feel, Mom. My knee hurts really bad. I can't use it. And apparently it's having babies. Today, I haven't moved around much, but I haven't had that happen yet today. But boy, that happened like eight times yesterday, just while we were trying to get ready to leave and cleaning the house and packing up. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. So, so bad. So I don't know if I pulled something. Do I need to go see my doctor? Eh, I don't really like doing the whole doctor thing. It's not my favorite thing in the world to do. I'm kind of a baby about it. So we'll see. What else fun things happened? Let me chug my coffee. My son turned 13. He had a really great birthday. That was a lot of fun. He requested a spaghetti dinner. Oh, that's the other thing. I don't know if I've talked about this, but my brother-in-law is a phenomenal cook and baker. And he loves to do it. So, of course, I'm the only vegan in the family. So they're eating all these. He made beignets. He made these chocolate cookies with, like, melted Andy's chocolates on the top, all swirled and looking all bougie and cute. He made, oh gosh, what else did he make? Oatmeal, peanut butter, chocolate chip pretzel cookies that were all soft and chewy and, ugh, what else did he make? Shoot. Oh, he made some orange cake thing. He made my son's birthday cake. Um, but I will say my brother-in-law is the absolute best out of everybody I know, absolute best at making sure that I have something that I can eat at all of our meals. I'm not even joking. He's the nicest guy. 
so he made um, a, a sheet of vegan brownies from scratch for me. Of course, everybody else was eating them too. I'm like, hey, you guys have all this stuff to eat and I have this plate of brownies. Back off. If you touch another brownie, I'll cut you. You have, all, you have beignets and all these other things you get to eat. Quit eating my brownies. I really didn't say that, but I felt like I should have. Like, back off my brownies. I should have put a little taser on them. You touch the brownie pan and you get tased. But I'm like, yo, you guys have other stuff. This is for me. Go away. Um, they were amazing brownies. And nobody could tell that they were vegan. Um, so, yeah, that was really cool. And so, man, they cooked all kinds of stuff. They made, oh, I don't even know, all kinds of stuff that I wasn't eating. But, like, pulled or shredded beef um, sandwiches and, oh man, they just, I don't know. I felt like they were cooking constantly the whole time we were there because, you know, that's what you do. So that was fun. Um, what else did we do? I don't know. Guys, it was so much fun. I'm so glad we were able to do it. My son was holding back some tears when it was time to leave. He hates leaving. He just really loves being there. And uh, I miss hearing my nephew going, Auntie, Auntie. And, you know, running up and giving me hugs and telling me he loves me and all that stuff. And it's not like I can't see him. He's, you know, half an hour, 40 minutes away uh, at his house. But, you know, we've all been really cautious with the COVID and and stuff so I don't know when we're all gonna get together again hopefully soon so now we're done with Jackson's birthday and we are moving on to my husband's birthday which is in two days and I'm not prepared in any way shape or form so I'm gonna have to go handle that business tomorrow get him some gifts and then it's 4th of July this weekend. Like, holy moly, how did that even happen? Our neighbors shoot off illegal fireworks. And it's so annoying. Every year they do it. And not just on 4th of July, of course. It's on every other day as well for the next, I don't even know, month. Um, so I hate that part. But I am really excited. I don't know if we're doing fireworks or not. Well, I mean, we always do fireworks, but I don't know this year if we will. We'll see. I can't imagine we wouldn't. Like, my husband would be fine not doing them, but I'm the one that's like, no. This is our, tra our tradition to do some fireworks. We need to do it. And he's like, ah, fine. Because, you know, I get what I want. Um, no, he's a good dad, and I know he wants to do it too, but kind of not. Okay, so I feel like I've been talking nonstop. I have so much to say. I've just been doing so much. I can't even believe it this last week. And it's so weird not talking to you guys. Like, I haven't been in any of my friends' live videos, and I barely watched any videos, and, you know, I didn't get Wi-Fi in my room there, so... That was a bummer, so I just really just put the phone down, my iPad down, and just enjoyed the time, which I'm so glad I did. Let me tell ya, it was worth it. So worth it. My nephew's been potty training, and so every time, and he's pretty good now, like he, he had one potty accident the whole time we were there, so that's that's really good. Um, but of course, we're all, every time he goes, he runs out, I peed, I peed in the potty, and we all have to go, yay! <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had to do that kind of stuff. So that was fun. He's so cute. So cute. He's a little ham, that kid. Never stops moving.
Oh man. Oh, and I have after this video, I'm gonna do another video because I received some happy mail and I wanna open that. Received that while I was gone. And I should have, actually, maybe I should wait because I think I have another Happy Meal coming today or tomorrow, um, according to the person who sent it. So maybe I'll wait on the Happy Meal and open both. So maybe I'll wait on that. Um... So a lot of people have been doing glue books lately. It makes me so happy. But some people are struggling and that's okay. You know, everybody has their own way of glue booking and I tried doing other people's ways for a long time and I found it frustrating as well. But I just wanna remind you that you, there is no wrong way to glue book. Whatever feels good to you is the way it should be and it looks marvelous no matter what. I just want you guys to remember that. Um, it doesn't have to look like mine. It doesn't have to look like, you know, Shannon Green's. It doesn't have to look like Carla from Cage Fish. It doesn't have to look like, you know, anybody's. It can just look like yours. Um, and it's okay to copy other people or copy or monkey see, monkey do other people's work too. I, you know, I'm not saying that's wrong in any way. I think that's amazing. Especially if that style is what really gets you going um, in glue booking. And that makes me really happy. Like I've had a few people say that the style that I've been doing here, where I do my big images first, then medium images, then small images. And then I, I do my fussy cuts and my words. The reason why I do this is because it helps me not think about it too much. And I glue as I go. And the reason why I don't plan out my page first is because that's where the frustration ends for, or starts for me. Because then I'm like, no, I'll put this here, and then put this here, and blah, 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 blah. If I just glue it down, then I'm forced to just use my cre creativity and also realize that this picture doesn't look good here. There's no does it, does not, because it either fits or it doesn't, because I've already glued another picture down. Um, it kind of gives me that freedom to just not think about it that much. And because this is supposed to be random and fun and therapeutic, um, that really helps to just glue as I go. If that makes sense to you guys. Um, yeah, like I said, it just really gives me that freedom to, uh, like here, there's no wrong way to put this piece of, or, you know, these lips. I'm just trying to find a spot that fits um, where, where I like it to go. And if it doesn't fit, meh, who cares? Like there, I didn't like anywhere that, that went, so I'm just gonna find something else. Um, let's see. I really, really need to start fussy cutting some more stuff. I should have been doing that while I was at the beach, but oh well, say la vie. Um, yeah, I, I need to cut. I've just been enjoying gluing and I'm just sitting here and gluing all of my images and then I'm like, well, wait a second. I'm kind of running out. So I need to figure it out here. Um, what else can I put down? I have this butterfly for like ever. Oh, I did put a butterfly over there. Hmm. Well, let's see. Oh, where are my little letters? Did I not unpack those? Oh, man. Nothing's really unpacked either, guys. I just kind of took out my whatever I had in my bag. I'm going to put that there. I did do some fussy cutting before I left, so I do have some images. That's good. There we go. Okay, I don't really like that I have two things like right next to each other, but oh well. Oh well. It's not a big deal. What else do I have here? 
feel like I've been looking at the same images forever too. That's another sign that I really need to start fussy cutting because I feel like I keep picking up the same images over and over again. Where do I, oh, I think I'll put this little dog. Hmm. I want to put that dog there. Kind of covers the glove. And there's a dog there. Ah. Oh no, I lost my mojo. Just kidding. I didn't lose it. Okay. Do you want to hold a banana? I think you do. can have that little banana. There you go. Enjoy. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? Oh, you guys, I'm so behind on my iCads now, like a week, because I didn't do any while I was gone at the beach. Now I don't know whether to make them up or just quit. It would be so easy to quit. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what I should do. I do really enjoy doing them, so maybe I will just make it up. Maybe I'll just sit down one day and every day do a few and then eventually I'll catch back up. Okay, where are my words? Do I have some words over here? Words, where are you? I'm in this bag. Um, not that big, then. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse the reach. That was annoying. Okay. Hmm. Let's find some words. Be inspired. I like that word. I guess that's several words. Yeah, let's put that there. Be inspired. I even got a new book and I didn't read it while I was there. I took it down to the beach one day when we went. Um, but I was just having so much fun playing with my kids and nephew that I didn't. Oh man, and I played frisbee on the beach. Don't remember the last time I did that. And threw a football with my boys. Oh, sometimes I tell you, you guys, it's the little things in life. You know, especially when your kids are getting older and... You know, my oldest is 20, so it's not like he's going to be here much longer. So. That was really fun. And there was ladies riding horses on the beach, you guys. Horses. I was like, what? They were so beautiful. One looked like a Clydesdale. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. I was in heaven. Um, I'm going to put this because that's me. I have a smart mouth. I'm not going to deny that. A little smarty pants. But yeah, you guys, I was like, what? I've never in all the years been to the beach seen horses just being, you know, they were obviously their horses. Um, so that was cool. They walked past us once and then came back by and walked again. Um, so that was fun. My nephew, of course, loved that. I don't know who loved it more, him or me, but it was very fun to see. Oh, I was going to tell you something else, too. Um, shoot. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well. Oh, I like this. Inspiration is everywhere, but it doesn't really fit there. I can put it over the butterfly because I make the rules. Oh, and then, so my son, youngest son, his favorite thing to do. So he, both my kids don't sleep real well. Um, but especially when he, my youngest was younger, he really had a hard time. And he would just wake up at the butt crack of dawn every day, you guys. I'm not even joking. 
excuse my language, but we're talking like 345 in the morning. He was up ready for his day and bouncing off the walls. Uh, not fun. Not my greatest time parenting in my life. And I'm an early bird, you guys. I go to bed early. I wake up early and I thought I was going to die. So I'm so glad those years are over. But anyway, so when he was younger, we would go down to the water, go to the beach and kind of look for shells and stuff to keep the house quiet so everybody else could sleep. And of course, he says, the only thing I want for my birthday is to go down and look for shells. <sighs> You're killing me, Smalls. Like, I have to get up at like five to go down there. So anyways, he's like, come on, mom. You said it's the only thing I wanted for my birthday. And blah, 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 playing the little guilt card. And I'm like, fine. Ah, what am I supposed to do, right? It's his little birthday wish. And uh, So I wake up early, ready to roll. And, of course, I go in there and I go to wake him up. And I'm like, hey, do you want to go do this? And he's like, yeah, I do. So we go down there to the beach. We have to walk to the beach, which it's, or the house is on the beach, but, um, it's kind of a long walk to it. Cause it's like a grassy field in between the beach and the house. So of course I'm scared a little bit, you know, I love animals, but I don't love it when animals jump out of bushes. And so I'm a little nervous about that. It's freezing cold. I have on my last clean outfit of the trip, even though there's a washing machine. I didn't think about it ahead. So we go down there and there's like hardly any shells on the beach. So obviously the tide, we missed the tide or low tide or whatever. So there were some, I, we found four sand dollars that were whole and we found quite a few that were just kind of cracked on the top, but we didn't want those. Um, but we walked for over an hour in the cold. I got... I was kind of walking, I had my Nike slides on and I was walking in really shallow water because I thought I saw a shell and before I knew it, the tide came up and soaked me, got my butt wet, everything wet and my son's laughing and I'm freezing and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what should I do for my kids? It's not even funny. My last outfit, now I'm soaking wet, freezing and we've only found one sand dollar at this point so I'm like... This is parenting, I'm telling you. So then uh, he's, you know, dry as can be. And so then we're looking around. So anyways, we ended up finding the four. And he was happy, and I was happy that I actually did it. Um, I really thought about being like, uh, you know, sorry, I slept in. And then I'm like, no, I'm going to do this. I don't want to look back later in life and be like, oh, if you had only just gone down there. You know, I just, I don't want to do that. So then because we had to walk so far and I was soaking wet, I, my tops of my feet had gotten burnt the day before being down at the beach. So, um, anyways, I, because I was walking with my slides on and my feet had sand on them, I guess like the sand was rubbing on my tops of my feet because it was like connected to or you know stuck to my slides so now I have like some blisters on the top of my feet from that so that was hard and not fun but again worth it totally worth it um, I made my son's day and so yeah and we did find four so we're not totally lost. Although one time when we were down there, we found, oh, hold on. I have to stand up for a second. My leg is hurting. Um, we found like 50 full sand dollars, N not even joking. So it was kind of a bummer to only find four, but then again, like, you know, that's four that the seagulls didn't eat. So, um, and I kind of felt bad taking them. I don't know why I feel bad about that stuff. I just, I mean, I do. Okay. I feel like I need... I don't really want to cover up those gloves, but at the same time, I need more something there. 
What do I have that's little? Let's find something little that can like sit on there or something. Isn't that funny how you can just set something on there and you're like, nope, that's not it. Ew, then that's like going into her mouth. That's weird. No, I don't want to put a croissant because it looks like the banana. Ah, come on. Need some more like little filler stuff. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put a little banana, or I'm sorry. Oh, I'm losing it, you guys. Butterfly. There we go. All right, well, I think I'm going to call this page good. And I'm going to end the video here. I'm probably going to do another glue with me again later today. And possibly a happy mail either uh, today or tomorrow. So we'll see if I get that in the mail. But thank you guys so much for uh, gluing along with me today. And I'm so happy to be back. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.